Some South Walton County residents banded together over the last few months to help out one of their own. A Freeport man's home had been racking up some hefty fines since he was found in violation of Walton County code. As News 13's Jake Holter tells us, the home is now officially back up to code. I didn't know what was going to happen. I, I thought, honestly, I, if it was just left up to me, I probably lost everything. William Thompson had found himself battling some major health issues as trash collected and plants overgrew in his yard. But when some local residents heard Thompson plead his case to Walton County Code Enforcement, they decided to step in. It was pretty simple. I just put it out there and, and you know, there was no dragging anybody. They just automatically volunteered. I mean, at one point we had probably close to 30 people here. So um, it, it was just amazing. There, there was hardly any effort to get volunteers here. And we had like three or four yard dumpsters and a whole bunch of utility trailers and pickup trucks and they just loaded up all my stuff and the way they went and all the trash with it. <laughs> so, so and then they cleaned up the yard. They had tree trimmers and, and uh, grass cutters and everybody here, you know. Now after almost a month of cleanup, Thompson's home is back in compliance. We're having a ribbon cutting showing that everything is done and it's all nice and clean. All these wonderful angels that came to my rescue, they're here uh, to say, you know, hi and everything. And so that's good. I'm so happy. Curry says that he and others involved have decided to pay off Thompson's property taxes for this next year, as well as gift him gift cards to get him back on his feet. In Freeport, Jay Coulter, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Curry says that he hopes to work toward giving those in Thompson's situation another avenue besides racking up fines. A great cause.